Out-of-towners have enjoyed the Columbia area during Masters Week, and it proves to be a hole-in-one. for local golf courses such as Spring Valley Country Club. Besides offering tie-dyeing shirts for fun, Sustainable Carolina is also offering a water bottle decorating station where you decorate water bottles to promote the new water bottle refill stations that they have on campus. They want you to use water bottles such as these instead of your classic plastic water bottle. Mardi Gras in Columbia is nothing but a big party from getting beads drinking beer, eating great food, and dancing to great bands, but it's all for a great cause. These free pancakes seem too good to be true. But in fact, there is a great cause behind this stack of pancakes. It's today reached the mid 80s, so I came out to the pool to cool off. Coming up after the break, I'll let you know if this warm weather will continue and you can come to the pool this weekend as well. With Tiger Woods and other golfers teeing off just a little over an hour away in Augusta for the Masters, a lot of golf fans have flocked to the Columbia area. Many fans only get to go to one day of the Masters, so that leaves them with a lot of free time to do what golf fans love to do. Golfers want to go play golf before they watch golf. The Masters uh, gives the common people the perception that they can uh, duplicate what the pros do, but then they're uh, disappointed when they get out to the golf course. According to Spring Valley Country Club manager Mike Birdsell, golfers are flooding the driving ranges and putting greens at his course during Masters Week. It probably is one of the busiest times of the year. Golfers like David Black have brought groups down from Virginia and Michigan. Through a partnership with their country clubs at home, they have been able to come down to Columbia and play at Spring Valley during Masters Week. Sometimes they have a partnership with uh, clubs in other parts of the country, so we were able to set up around here. Out-of-towners have enjoyed the Columbia area during Masters Week, and it proves to be a hole-in-one. For local golf courses such as Spring Valley Country Club, well, the impact for us um, is mainly driven by the dollar, okay? Like today, I've got probably 50 people here. So if they're all paying $100 a head, that's five grand. Although golf fans will head home at the end of the weekend, they haven't left Columbia without a great time. And to come to a beautiful place like this is exactly what we're looking for. Golfers may not have perfected Tiger Woods swing here at Spring Valley, but the country club is happy that they have been able to provide golfers from all over the opportunity to get a few rounds in during Masters Week. Kyle Brown, Carolina News. When visiting North Star Christian Center, one thing sticks out. The choir, pews, and front of the church host a large mix of races. Pastor Brian Thomas says it has not always been this way since the opening of the church in 1943. Most likely a pretty predominantly white church, and I would say maybe all white. Even the pastoral staff is integrated from head pastor Brian Thomas to associate pastor John Larkin and worship pastor A.J. Castro, who is from the country of Columbia. To hundreds of churches and really with one hand um, I can count the amount of churches that were as multicultural as this. Here today at North Star Christian Center they feel the key to their ability to say so integrated is the love that they show everybody that comes through their church. Made them feel extremely welcome. Not different, not segregated, not ostracized, but really welcome. The people of North Star Christian Center like the church being integrated because they feel that is the way it will be in heaven. The Lord just drew us here because we knew that in the final end that we were all going to have to be together. God wants people to come together as one. You know, one, one day I think heaven is going to look like just a bunch of races. In this Easter season, North Star is hoping more people will follow their lead and Christ's message of loving one another. Kyle Brown, Carolina News. Kevin Garnett, Ray Allen, Jermaine O'Neal, and Raymond Felton are a few of the big-name NBA players 
that are from the state of South Carolina. Lately, though, the state has not produced as much basketball talent as it used to. And in guard, number 15, Perry Dozier Jr., the son of Perry Dozier Sr., who played at USC in the 80s, is one high school basketball player in the state who is trying to change that. You know, hopefully try to start something new, you know, uh, put South Carolina on the map. Um, you know, Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen and Jermaine O'Neal, you know, them being from South Carolina and making it to the NBA is definitely, you know, something to look up to. According to ESPN, he is doing just that by being the ninth-ranked high school sophomore in the country. Dozier is the first player in the state of South Carolina to be ranked inside the top 10 high school basketball recruits in the country since Raymond Fountain in 2002. And you can come watch Dozier play here at Spring Valley High School. Dozier Sr. is his high school coach at Spring Valley and thinks his son could be special. One of the things is he's uh, very gifted, uh, talented. Uh, he's been playing ball since he was four years old. Uh, he's traveled around the world since he was a little boy. And I guess, uh, you know, just take one person to like you. And, Unfortunately, I think good things have happened for him. And Dozier Jr. already has offers and interest from all the high major basketball programs. Ohio State, Kansas, uh, South Carolina, Clemson, uh, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Wichita, uh, NC State, UNC. Basketball recruiting analyst Bill Gunner outlines the strengths and weaknesses in Perry's game. To impact the game in so many different ways via points, maybe rebounds, assists, or defense, but again, his strength would definitely be his IQ, and again, when you talk weakness, we're, we're looking at his shooting ability from the perimeter. Is that an area that he can continue to develop? And be but Gunner does feel like he could make it to the NBA. I think with continued development, the NBA is a strong possibility for him, provided that he continues to increase his strength and increase his game. While it might not be a common thing to see a South Carolina resident ducking in the NBA, Perry Dozier Jr. thinks that he will change that. Uh, definitely. I think that's everyone's dream, you know, to, to make it to the NBA. So, you know, who, who doesn't have those dreams about, you know, being playing on the NBA court in front of the NBA fans? So. And he has a very good shot as all but one player that was ranked inside the ESPN Top 10 in the 2009 and 2010 classes is currently on an NBA roster. Kyle Brown, Carolina News.